Caddis Maximus here, this time with a little review of an older set, yellow handle set instead of orange handle. These are the 10 inch end nippers, Harbor Freight Pittsburghs. Still only nine bucks, so you can use coupons on them. The Doyles are 16 bucks. For a lot of people, to tell you the truth, I'll admit, these are certainly not gonna be as nice as say a pair of American made Kleins, but for a lot of people, they'll work just fine. And nippers are, of course, used for cutting things off flush against the surface. Relatively flush, like cutting off the ends of rivets so you can pull out some or remove some paneling or something along those lines. People use them a lot as nail pullers because you can just get right under the head of the nail. Or if the head has broken off, you can get right on the shank. And you have to be careful not to cut it off, but then you can roll it out. It's a really effective pry bar just because the fulcrum is so short compared to the handles. You can actually use them to extract screws because you can get on each side of the head of the screw like that, bite in, and then now you have like two um, notches that it's biting into, giving a lot of grip on the head of a fastener and allowing you to break it free. Sometimes you can even do this on small bolts. There's actually a variety of uses. And looking on some reviews, one thing I, I think I had the Doyles, if I do, they're buried somewhere. The Doyles are going to be a lot heavier duty with a much heavier riv duty rivet. This is a flush rivet, or hot rivet I should say, and it actually is surprisingly tight although this pair is nearly new. One little small notch in the jaw, so if you cut things like deck, deck screws, piano wire, it is going to ding up these jaws. But as some people were mentioning, like with the Doyles or even nicer ones like these 8 inch Kleins, what you'll notice on these Kleins is that there's a pretty steep angle or I should say more shallow angle compared to say these Pittsburghs here these Pittsburghs you can see come on now is really really sharp most of them are going to have more of a chisel tip just to give a little bit more strength to this edge so it is less likely to have issues like these little not get these little notches but some people have commented at least on these older ones that they kind of like this super sharp edge just because the way these are set up, they can get extra flush against the surface. They're useful for situations, maybe if you're tying something together with wire, you can actually grab, wrap the loop of wire around, grab it, twist with this, and then just squeeze to uh, cut off any excess. And that's the other advantage to these, is if you are cutting a lot of wire or that type of stuff, just the fact that you have so much leverage, particularly with some 10 inch ones, I mean, barely any pressure here, and I can just cut right through a carpenter's pencil. It actually takes a reasonable amount of force just to cut one of these in half like that. Of course, you know, if you need to cut something long, they are flared out. But if it's pretty wide, sometimes, you know, the, this depth here will interfere. Of course, it's really shallow on many of these, like these clines. And that would be one of the things that sets, you know, a really nice pair apart from, say, the Pittsburghs. Is really how heavy duty it is it's kind of hard to see but there's the if we look at the cross section of the jaw how wide it is there and here we can see on these clines maybe if I had better lighting <laughs> we'll turn them around this way anyway you can see on the clines here it's much wider and just about the same thickness on a tool that has two and shorter handles so it's just besides Klein just using a slightly better grade of steel or maybe even significantly better grade of steel and more careful attention to heat treatment uh, it's just that they're gonna be heavier duty and that's what makes these Chinese ones cheaper especially you know considering this 10 inch pair I mean nine bucks just at a regular prices really pretty cheap so these are gonna work out but they're either gonna be some carbon steel or a cheaper grade of tool steel but for a lot of uses, that's just fine. You know, they don't always have to come all the way together. If you're using these to work with mild steel, you know, tie wire and that type of stuff, the jaws will last just fine. If you do want to use them to beat, you know, to kind of beat on them, they're certainly plenty cheap enough to cut the heads off of nails, cut heads off of screws, use them to try to bite into the sides of fasteners and extract them, or even the stems of broken off bolts. When you have a pair of these that you're willing to beat up, just being able to have something like this where you can pinch down with just a huge amount of force uh, is surprisingly handy in a variety of plier type situations where you're not using them for cutting 
uh, whatsoever. And there are certain situations, if you've ever had, you know, like bamboo flooring and they use what's known as T-nails, which are actually sheet metal nails that are about this long and they have like a little elbow on them to tack down the flooring. When you pull up that flooring, you're stuck with a floor with hundreds or even thousands of those nails. And it's always kind of a challenge to either pound them down flat or to extract them. And a tool like this is absolutely perfect because you can just grab onto a floor nail and just, well, usually they're at an angle. So you just grab them, pry, pry them out nice, quick, and easy with a low amount of fatigue. Anyway, I think I talked about on, enough on these. Besides just totally destroying them and cutting deck screws and drill bits to show the difference in jaw quality. That's what it really take to show the difference between these and like a normal set. Plus, Harbor Freight also has some giant 16-inch pair of these. But this unit it was like a couple bucks at a har uh, garage sale. And one thing I will say and some people have commented on is it does seem like the grinding and the finish and just how well the jaws do come together the fact that uh, they actually have pretty good fit up people have said that these older ones and i was surprised i ran into some of the comments but there there's like hundreds of reviews since harbor freight's had these things for more than a decade um that the older ones were nicer than the current ones that are on the shelf and that's the only real thing. And so maybe these old Pittsburghs, there's uh, something to them. A lot of people say that about a lot of Harbor Freight's old tools, like their drill presses, all that kind of stuff, is that uh, a lot of them, the older ones are better. And to tell you the truth, these Pittsburghs, if they didn't say Pittsburgh and, of course, China on them, and they had some other brand, you'd be hard-pressed to say that these were just generally a crappy kit. <laughs> crappy set of end nippers. Anyway, thanks for watching.